he actually like yeah. starts drawing at like the fifth bell shot already, which you didn't expect. Which means he gets to try to shoot first at this point. Technically, he's cheating, so I can just grab out my shotgun and blast him away, can't I? <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'll give you that because <laughs> you like he's 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 kind of cheating at this point. Yes. Um, I'm just quickly. But he does get the first shot off with a minus four because magic. Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to say sorry for that. It was nicely done. Uh, where is it? Uh, so he rolls. That's cocked. So he rolled a seven, but it became a three because of a minus four. So he like pulls a little bit early, shoots, and you actually just see the bullet like go straight past your ear. Uh, at which point it's your turn to shoot. Dead. Which point I'm like, ah, oh, which weapon to pick? Which weapon to pick? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just go for my pistol as well. Okay, um, sure. So the way I roll that, I guess, is uh, you make a shooting roll. So I just the 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 dice that's next to my weapon on attacks. Uh, I think so. Let me uh, yes. It. Yeah, that, that one. Okay, yeah. five. So uh, that would be a success in this case. So you get to roll uh, your damage for your uh, gun, pretty much. Which I think is 2d6. Yeah. Plus one. Plus one. one. Oh, oh, nice. oh, shit. And oh, sh the six explodes. 16. <laughs> I think he did. Sure, man. Sure. 60. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, let's just for the sport, let's look at how much toughness he has. Oh, it's a five. So that's <laughs> a hit and two raises. <laughs> so pretty much, like, he actually is a little early, shoots at you. The bullet completely misses. He, like, kind of scrambles to, like, try to get a second shot off. And you just, like, very relaxed, pick up your gun. <laughs> straight through the head. <laughs> Falls over dead. That bad? I'm assuming so. It's a gun, so can't really oh, incapacitate shit. someone with that. Also, you know, two raises. Hmm. And you just like for a split second, like you actually don't hear anything as Annie just stands there <laughs> with her gun, like literally just looking at this guy <laughs> falling over. And at that point, like half the people that are standing that there. Are <laughs> And, like start throwing their hats in the air and stuff like that. And the other half's like, yeah. I also, uh, it's uh, throw my hat in the air. It's very noticeable who you know bet on who. And then you hear Mika Mato um, shout, "Good that I lit the fire for the good luck." <laughs> and I don't know why I get this Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> no one of us does Michael Tom. <laughs> we all don't have a clue. We got them, you son. I, I learned from, from Russia. <laughs> uh, so, um, I'm going to give yeah. one Benny to Annie because of the duel. Wow. Damn. Nice, nice, Damn. nice. Um, so, pretty much, like, there's a little bit of celebration on, like, a very nicely fought duel, quote unquote. Um. And you actually, like, you start seeing a couple of people starting to hand out money. The two brothers both get back ten bucks and get ten additional uh, bucks because of their bet. So you're ten Yay. bucks richer. Hey. Hey. Um, at which point you actually also see, like, the, uh, like, a little bit more of a, of a, a heavier dude kind of, like, walk up. Has, like, um, you know, a little bit of a very nice hat on his head. Uh, but you mostly, the thing that you mostly notice is, like, the Sheriff's Spatar that's, like, very uh, easy to spot on his chest. And he kind of looks over, looks at the body, nods at Annie, and just, like, tosses a bag with uh, gold pieces onto the ground in front of her. Nice. Uh, which is filled with about $100 of gold. Yay. Ask for the bounty. Good job. All right, come on. Get the body to the office. Just walks off. Let someone else do the, the heavy lifting. 
So he was an outlaw. Are you asking the sheriff that, or no? To 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 yeah, to the sheriff because I'm intimidated by the girl. <laughs> Every, everyone, is. everyone is. You just see the sheriff just like look at you. Yeah, not high level or anything, but just you know. He's, we've had him on our radar for a little while, showed up here every now and again, and, well, apparently she wanted to cash in, so. Right. Nicely done. Yeah, I think so, too. Anyway, good day. Just walks off. So, um, so. Mikamoto and uh, Annie, because the two of you are technically the closest to the saloon at that point. Um, there's a lot of celebration going on, uh, but at a certain point in time, all of that kind of falls like dead silent. And everybody kind of looks at the saloon. It kind of, kind of starts walking off a little bit. Oh no, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I dropped my whiskey. <laughs> um, you actually... Uh, hear like the you know these two boots walking out of the saloon and as you turn around you see this older gentleman about 50 uh kind of has like a shotgun on his back two really nice revolvers like to his sides really like pretty hat with on top of the hat it actually says uh jb uh in like this gold uh lettering um just walks out of the saloon Looks at the body that's still there. Looks at Annie. Huh. Well, I'll be. Nice shoot. Just walks off. Or <laughs> walks onto the body, kind of has a little bit of a look over it. Huh. It's appreciated. I don't like this kind of filth in my town. It's always appreciated when people like you deal with that. Might I know your name, missus? <laughs> uh, sure. I mean, you first. <laughs> Terribly sorry. My name is Jason Burns. I run this establishment and a couple others here. Annie Oakley, nice to meet you, kind sir. Nice to meet you, too. Huh. Tell me, would you be interested in some work, by any chance? Depends on how good the pay is. We'll discuss that upstairs. I have a couple others that I'm waiting for. I offered them the same job, but seeing as you can handle yourself and you seem to be pretty competent... Might as well cut you into the deal. Kind of Fair. walks walks back towards the saloon. Sees the Indian standing yeah. there, just like... Still with a burning whiskey in his hands that's just <laughs> burning up. Just like, looks at you. You enjoying that? Yes, I like fire. <laughs> cool. You new in town? Uh, I am already uh, 20 years at least. <laughs> so ah. I'm not I'm not new, nay, no. <laughs> nay. <laughs> that's, that's Indian speak for no. Yeah. <laughs> and thus the British were formed. <laughs> yeah. His his he does know English but it's it's very um yeah, bad. Rudimentary. Yes. But you recently... And he takes everything very literally, so he doesn't understand sarcasm or whatever. He just oh, takes no, it that's literally. Gonna, that's gonna be great, isn't that's it? That's gonna yeah. be yeah. beautiful. <laughs> nice. So, so this was a misunderstanding. He 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 did not understand. He he thought he was new, but he is not new. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you recently came to this. Slice of the earth. Oh yes, never been here, no. Not before, no. You didn't happen to come with any other people, did you? 
Um, I am here with a shaman and I rescued two people, like a bishop and uh, uh, a card dealer, I guess. Oh. Huh. Yes. And he kind of looks back at Annie and is like, well, apparently <laughs> the rest of your company has already arrived. <laughs> if you could go and fetch them, then we can talk business. Is she part of a company? I just, I just look at, I just look at the Indian. And I look back at, uh, at that JB guy and go like, if a drunk Indian is any indication of the quality of, of your posse, hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm going to need, drunk. I'm going to need a raise. I'm not drunk. I don't drink. I just burn. He kind of like looks back at you. It's like, you know what? That can be discussed. <laughs> Burn for good luck, so you won. Be happy. <laughs> so I just look at him and go like, "Sure, who's a good boy?" <laughs> and I just like go like, "What the hell?" And and he 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 show uh, he uh, points at the foxy at uh, of of uh, Abigail. That's good boy. <laughs> I was hoping that was going to be the reaction. <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay. So, Captain Literal. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Lovely. This is going to be beautiful. Yeah, it is. All right. Um, so, I mean, uh, Abigail, you actually notice, you know, your, your Indian buddy kind of point at your fox and then, like, look back at this woman that's just shot someone else and the weird white dude that's been talking to them which you can't understand so okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm just uh, stating go, facts <laughs> i go to the to my friends uh, okay. and i point to uh the woman uh, and i say uh, lingala dena isa and I say, then. <laughs> okay, right. This is not going to happen every single time you do that, but I am going to do it once. <laughs> uh, also, I just realized I don't have five pennies. I just realized I didn't have five pennies. Okay. She says, nice to meet you. You look like fine lady. I look, I look to my friend and I, I, I look a, a, riddle, a little bit, uh, um, how do you say it? Um, Riddled? Like he say something uh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you couldn't understand him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, <God>. I forgot that. <laughs> you have no idea what he just said. <laughs> I look riddle <laughs> ten. Okay, cool. What are the two brothers doing in the meantime? So collecting our cash. <laughs> yeah, collecting my cash. <laughs> Debating whether or not it was against my oath to help. Oi! I was planning on healing the other person, but he was dead already, so. I'm just, yeah. Yeah, that you need to make an offer to to God, right, with the gold. Yeah, I'll. Yeah. Uh, I'll... <laughs> Is there an orphanage in town? Are you just asking like a <laughs> random person? <laughs> an orphanage. Yes. It's like, uh, well, if you go down that street and then you go to the right and then you go back to the left, you might find a, like a, you know. There's a, a small little shack there with like three kids that are being raised by a single mom. She's been like looking after them. They're not real blood related or anything. Just like, you know, she's been looking after them. That's cl probably the closest you'll get. Great. I'll go there and give them my five gold or ten gold that I got from the bet. Okay. Put my life. So, so Blizz <coughs> starts like walking off. Blaze, what are you doing? Be right back. Uh... uh, uh... Is it even legal to like 
give dirty money to children. <laughs> you got that through gambling. Uh, and uh, I walk to Mika Mato and I, I tell him, You're burning away the good part. What? You're burning away the good part. And I, I look at your glass burning whiskey. It's it's nice, right? I wouldn't call it nice if, yeah. if the good the way, stuff out of it. I, I am smart. If he gives the 10 gold he placed on the bet, then he isn't giving any money that he got from the bet. Right? Right. And, and he, he looks with a, a questioning... Um, yeah. Look. Look. Right. Look. Yes. Well, and I turn myself to to the other, to Annie and uh, the other guy, uh, whose name I already forgotten. Uh, to Mr. Burns, I think. Uh, Burns, yeah. And I, and I say, I, I see you, you, you met uh, Mikado already. <laughs> uh, the name's Blaze. Uh, well, uh, nice shooting, lady. And... Uh, um. It's Mikamato. Annie. Yes, yes, it, Mikado. It's it's Miss Oakley for you. You oh. ruffian. Oh, 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 Miss Oakley. <laughs> uh and who, who might you be? And I look at uh, the other guy that's standing next to uh in this conversation. It's on his hat. J B. I can read. The name's Jason Bynes. JP. Nice meeting you, Mr. Bynes. Yeah, well, I'm guessing you're also part of this posse then? Uh, regrettably, yes. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, if you work for me, you might be able to get some more cash to bet on these kinds of duels, so... There's I'm all. always in for the cash. Good, good. So what are we waiting for your uh, priest friend? Brother. Oh. Yes, he's making a donation to the poor and childerly. Like, <laughs> at, childerly. at this point... <laughs> <laughs> he's going to Childerly oh, Avenue. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna start <laughs> muting my mic. Just like, like, not what's, the, what's, the, what's the opposite of elderly? Children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to survive this. <laughs> God. You Who's asked this? us. <laughs> I know. I love it. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> Children. God. Anyway, um. You actually see Burns, like, look at you, look back at your brother, look back at you. Same parents? Yes. Regrettably, yes. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, uh, you, hear if... any quip, you hear any quip up. Hmm, I don't know, one of them looks like a milkman I used to know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You kind of just, like, see Burns look, and it's like, well, uh, once your brother's back, come upstairs, we have, uh, things to discuss. And he looks, like, over the entire group, and he's like, yeah, yeah, just walks back into the saloon. You actually see him, like, go up the stairs uh, into, like, a separate room, um, which also very clearly, again, has, like, his initials JB. Uh, kind of more scratched on it, but like in a nice fashion. Like they've carved it out of the door to make sure that nobody goes in that shouldn't be there. Okay. So, is there anything you guys want to do before you go up there or whatever? Or yes. I give oh. uh, Koa a piece of uh, bacon. Okay. When I come back, I want to tell to my brother. Good news, brother. They were in such a desperate need for funds that I gave your $10 also. <laughs> I didn't agree to that one. It is to save your poor soul. 
Uh, my soul is quite fine and dandy, and I never gave you 10 bucks if I remember correctly, so pretty sure you just gave your $20 yourself. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll put them out of my money first, but I'll know you'll pay me back. Sure. It's fine. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Anything else, or...? Speaking uh, of money... No. Um, yes. How much for the whiskey? Uh, the whis That's a very good question, actually. Uh, because I, I actually just forgot to pay. So probably <laughs> he's, he's, he's uh, standing there... Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Hold up, I'm checking it if, if, if whiskey's, like, in the... Uh... <laughs> Is actually in the list. I don't know. Otherwise, it'll probably be like whiskey's a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, Just take here. something else, strong liquor or so. Uh, liquor, triple or more for the good stuff. So let's say there'd be like 50, 50 cents, so half a buck. Oh, it's a shot, okay. so it's not that much. Okay, then it's probably burned out already. Yeah, it's it's a small shot, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Yes. Oh, fire gone. <laughs> <laughs> so it's alcohol. And I want to say to any nice dodge on his first bullet. And then uh, let's go up, shall we? Uh, that was not a dodge. Just standing still is not dodging. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> and I'm like, listen to the Indian, he's right. The other guy was just a really <laughs> pissed poor shot. Yeah, he was a really poor shot. Unfortunately. For him. And when he died, he had a poor shit. <laughs> oh god. Yes, definitely. I have another soul to pay for. Not gonna disagree with that. Anyway, so um, as you guys kind of walk up, you do notice that like the saloon at this point is relatively empty. Um, as you kind of look inside, you also see this is like the nicer like half of the saloons that you run into in, in, in the West. Um, there's a couple of like really expensive looking bottles of, of liquor, uh, like whiskey, rum, whatever you can find pretty much. Um, and there's also like you know the the normal stuff, quote unquote, like beer and and uh, wine to an extent. Uh, but you know you pretty much if you'd need a drink, you'd be able to find it here, except for like the really really cheap stuff. For that, you have to look somewhere else. Um, and as you kind of go up, you stand in front of the door. Is there someone who wants to go in first? Uh, yeah, without knocking, just okay. inside. <laughs> Door go door opens up. You actually like so you see Burns kind of sitting behind his desk, kind of writing something. You also see two like guards sort of kind of stand next to him, both with like a rifle uh at their back, like turn around in reflex, see the Indian dude, look at Burns. Burns doesn't even react. Yeah. <sighs> Come on in. And the other two the two guards kind of like relax, quote-unquote, but still look at, like, the entire group coming in. I look around and say, uh, Delicia. She says, it's uh, nicely, um, ingericht. <laughs> decorated. Uh, nicely decorated. Wow. decorated. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the, the word in English. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You kinda, it's like, nicely looks... decorated. Yes. Like, looks back at you, it's like, thanks. It's appreciated. All right, um, you two. Appreciado, blah, 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 blah. Then. Then. <laughs> yeah, this, okay. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting conversation. Kind of like points at his two guards, is like, you guys can go. I'm fine here. You see the two kind of like walk out. One of them, like, uh, Sir, we are going to stay outside just in case you need us. Yes, yes, I know. For crying out loud, I know the protocol. I wrote them myself. Like, okay, thank you, sir. 
Just walks out, closes the door behind him. All right, so. Well, let's start with names, I guess. I already know the pretty lady. But then the remainder of you. Me is Mikamato, also known in your language as Rabbit Bear. Quick as a rabbit, strong as a bear. This is Abigail. Abby. Yes, Abby. I. I, I forgot. <laughs> Abigail Clearwater. <laughs> Clearwater. Abigail Clearwater in your language. Yes. And then she doesn't understand English, so I am speaking in her name. All right. You are. <laughs> Bliss Grandville, responsible and older brother of this younger brother, Blaze. Christ like a baby with cactuses. Yes. Not yes. a huge fan of cactuses. Cacti? I don't know. C cacti. <laughs> cacti. <laughs> cacti. I don't know cactuses. the language, so cactuses. Cactuses. I don't. <laughs> yes. C cacti. I hate them yes. very much. All right. All right. Bla Blaze, Grandville, uh, I don't need any introduction from my big bro. Uh, I'm the less stuck up version of him. Huh. He has a lot of tricks with cards. Wanna play a game of poker? Not right now, no. I have business to attend to. Maybe later. Anyway. As I've already mentioned, my name is Jason Bynes. I am the owner of several saloons, several other buildings in the city, and I also own the three mines that are slightly up north of this location. Pretty much you could call me the richest man in Stonefield. <laughs> uh, Rich. Yes, well. Where anyway. are your cows? My cows? Uh, that yes. would be more to the east, on the farmland that I own. Uh. Okay. Material possessions do not mean anything in heaven. No, but they sure as hell make it more livable down here. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, I originally contracted four of you, but honestly, I'm quite impressed with Miss Oakley's shooting skills. So I figured we'd make it a group of five. Gives me more certainty that you'll be able to do this. I have a job for you, if you are interested in taking it. As I've already mentioned, I own three of the mines to the north of here. Uh, one of them for silver, one of them for gold, and one of them for salt. Now, recently, this city has been, how do I say this, bothered by more and more outlaws. And that has not really helped my case. A couple of days ago, even, one of my mines stopped sending shipments, stopped communication altogether. Specifically the silver mine. I would like the five of you to figure out what the hell happened there, kill anything that doesn't belong, and report back to me. After which I will send some people to check. If you did what you had to do, because of course you can never be too bloody careful in this place. And if you've done a good job, I will pay each of you, and he kind of like looks down at his ledger. Uh, let's say 250 apiece. 250 what? Dollars. Ah. Beads, because it's you. I mean. You think I am dumb? No, no I th you're Indian. Yes, exactly. Indian. I don't know. If you prefer to be paid in something else, Mr. Uh, Mikamato, then that can possibly be arranged. Firewater. That can very likely be arranged, yes. Lots of it. That should work, yes. Certainly. So... 
and kind of like closes his ledger. That's pretty much the job. Interested? How about we knock everyone unconscious and bring them back to the sheriff to let him decide what needs to be done to the outlaws? That's fine with me too. Okay. I, I, I just look at... Uh, wait, is this Bliss or Blaze? This is going to be... Freaky. Bliss. Bliss. I just look the at Bliss and go... <laughs> you see what I'm dealing with every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I basically look at Bliss and go like, uh, yeah, but it, dead people are easier to handle. 